Getting started in UX design is as simple as creating your very first wireframe. In this video, we'll go over a step-by-step -step guide on how to create your first wireframe from beginning to end in under 10 minutes. So think of a wireframe as a simplified visual representation of your design. It's going to be very bare bones, just the basics of whatever you're trying to design for. And it's almost like a blueprint for your design. So this is the user flow that I created for this app. Our app is going to be a hotel booking service, a booking app, and our user is going to try to turn on the price alert feature for an upcoming hotel stay. First step, grab your sketchbook, paper and pen. We're going to outline this. First thing is that I'm looking at my, like I mentioned, my user flow, and I'm going to select which frame I'm going to work on first. And typically you'd probably still go from beginning to end. We are going to focus for the sake of this video on the screen that I think is probably the most important, which is going to be the hotel details page, because that page is going to have the price alert button feature that we are, that we are solutioning for, that we are designing for. So with that in mind, I'm just going to draw a rectangle to represent our app screen. And okay, so when you're thinking about what you're designing, so in this case, like I mentioned, it's a hotel details page. So there's gonna be certain things um, that I know are gonna need. Specifically for an app, an easy way to start is just thinking about like, what are some basics that you know you're gonna need to include? So you're probably gonna need a back button. Got a little messy there, but you're gonna need a back button. And then maybe, you know, at the top is kind of representing your phone, 90%, you know, your Wi-Fi signal, these kinds of things, like not super crucial, but just if you just need to get started, I'd go with that first, just to make it feel like an actual page. Let's say you're also able to like the listing. So we're going to do a heart and maybe there's like a share arrow as well. Okay. When you're looking at, especially on an app, you're probably going to have a very large photo. So this rectangle is going to represent a photo for us. And then maybe at the bottom, there is like a carousel of other images. And so that is what that's going to represent, these images here. So when you're also looking at a listing, you're going to have photos, but you're also probably going to have a little bit of information. And so we're just going to put these lines as representative of some text. And then maybe here there is a star rating. That'll be the rating. And then let's say to the right, we've got like some kind of map general location. You know, <laughs> the symbol for map is what I'm trying to draw here. You guys do not have to be an artiste to be able to do this. It's a lot of boxes and shapes and circles and squiggles. So don't let that deter you. Okay, so we've got our larger photo, carousel, some information about the property, a map, star rating. Okay, that's kind of, again, we're talking bare bones here. You don't have to think about, no, they don't think about it, but you don't have to necessarily add all the bells and whistles to this yet. So maybe if we want to do one more thing, we can say like, I'm seeing this a lot where it's like 2000 people book this or something like that. You know, those are kind of becoming popular to see because it kind of gives a little bit more credibility to the listing. And so then at the bottom, you're probably going to have a CTA. So that's going to be, you know, probably something like book. Looking at this, we still need to incorporate our price alert feature. And so right now, I think just for the sake of this, we're going to say that this is a button. This could progress. And I think actually it'll probably work best. It could be a toggle button or it can be an actual button. Now that I'm thinking about it, I'm like, eh, maybe in this case, it's an actual button, but we are just gonna have it be here. And it's not gonna run the full length of the CT button because we don't want them to compete. Maybe it's gonna be the bell icon and it's gonna say get price alerts. Now that you have your wireframe documented pen and paper, the next step is going to be putting that into the computer, making it digital. So let's pop over there and do that. We are in Figma, getting ready to put this in. I've dropped in a frame that's about the size of an iPhone. And then I already grabbed the status bar as well as some, as well as some icons that I know I'm going to need. 
So without further ado, let's just start dragging these in. Okay, we're gonna put that in. And then we mentioned that we wanna have a back button. So we're gonna do that. And then we also wanted a like and a share button. Let's make these a little bit bigger. Let's go to 24. Okay, get these spaced out. Okay, perfect. Now we are going to put in a rectangle and that's gonna signify our image. So we're just gonna make it look exactly kind of how we had it sketched out. Um, remove the fill. Gonna signify it with this. Can even round the corners a little bit to make it feel more like a photo. And okay, and then we're gonna do the same thing for the carousel down below. We'll remove that. And then we'll just copy and paste these across. We might need to make these a little bit smaller. Okay. Are we okay with that spacing? Good enough. Again, <laughs> wireframe. Don't feel like you need to get too bogged down in everything. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is just kind of signify some of that text. We're just going to use lines. You know, it's a lot of boxes, it's a lot of shapes, guys. So don't let that intimidate you. Okay. Perfect. I'm just going to adjust these a little. Make it look a little bit more <laughs> like potential text. Okay, great. Now, over here, we're going to put in a map, and I'm just going to put in this little icon. There will probably be like an image, like a screen grab of a map, but this is just going to signify what we need for that. Next thing we're going to do, I grabbed some star icons. We're going to put these here just for our rating. And then we're just, yeah, going to copy this. I'm going to say it's a five star. Okay, great. And now we are going to create our CTA button. Let's round these corners a little bit. We're going to put in a little text. I'm going to say, Okay, great. And now our price alert is what we're gonna do next here. We're gonna have it be a similar shape, but again, it's not gonna go all the way across because we don't want it to compete. We're gonna give it a little bit of an outline. Let's not even do a fill. And I need one more icon really quick. Let's see if notify comes up. Nope, we're gonna do a bell. Once it loads, we're going to do a bell. There we go. It's going to be our alert. Um, yep, let's just make that 16. And then we're just going to put in a text box that says get price alerts. We're going to fix this in just a second. Let's make this 15. Okay. Very simple, very quick, but do you guys see how it kind of just all comes together a little bit more once it's digital? So yeah, don't let it scare you. It's pretty simple. Just lots of shapes and kind of moving things around. Yeah, and use icons and wherever shortcuts you can, because at this point you're just trying to document what you have, your idea. You're probably not gonna stick to this. You're probably gonna have many variations, but just to kind of show you guys what you can create. Creating your wireframe is a great first step, but there's so much more that goes into UX design. So check out this playlist on how to get started as a UX designer.